Morris dancing is a living tradition of dance and music from England dates back to about the uh, 15th century. Uh, the latest, uh, I mean, the earliest church records are 15 or mid 1500s. And uh, they didn't have uh, very favorable reviews back then because uh, mostly only the church people could write. Uh, uh, the dances have been carried on for generations in about five, five, five villages now for about 500 years. Uh, let's see. Uh, remember to edit this, okay? Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. Um, the, uh, the dances were passed on from father to son in, in villages or from family to family. Um, mostly done by men in the early days as, as the times grew uh, later. The uh, later mid to late 1800s, uh, women started taking over the dances in times of war. And some women were asked to dance in the sets uh, with the other men as uh, the, uh, during the Industrial Revolution, the men went off to the cities and left the, uh, left, left the farming regions of the Cotswolds in order to find work there. And so it made it harder to find men for Morris teams. So that was one big reason why uh, you know, women, women started doing the dances. And the teams started getting uh, older and older. The, the, men were, the men got older, and uh, some villages, the dancing actually stopped. Uh, and through the work of uh, some collectors like uh, Sussex Sharp and Lionel Bacon, um, the dances were collected or, or revived in, in some villages, um, and this is what we have today. We, you know, we've, we've learned these dances from, from other dancers. You know, the, the notation's copied down, but you can't learn how to dance out of a book. You have to learn how to dance from a person. Uh, the dances, of course, have evolved over the centuries. I would say the way they look now is it's probably nothing like they looked in the 1500s, uh, but the spirit of it's still there. It's kind of hung on all these years, and this is what we do today. Uh, the dances are done all over the world. In some places, there's a team in Hong Kong. There's a team in Australia. There's many, there's many teams in the United States, and even more in England now. Um, as far as why. Uh, the dances have a lot to do with uh, the street, the pub, the village, the community spirit. It's, uh, what about it's like you? a village folk life celebration. For me, for me, the Morris is, uh, is a very special, special thing, a special thing that I can do for people as um, uh, it just brings good feeling and um, a goodwill thing. Thanks, Jane.